This video is going to be about the extracellular matrix. So in plant cells, they have a cell wall that they can attach to to give them support. Our cells don't have that, so we attach to the extracellular matrix instead to be able to help support our cells. So the extracellular matrix, which we'll just call the ECM, is going to be mostly made up of glycoproteins. Uh, more specifically, it's going to be made up mostly of collagen. So collagen is a huge part of the extracellular matrix and it's actually the most abundant protein in our bodies because it's found all throughout the extracellular matrix. So you also have some other um, components in the extracellular matrix. So you'll have uh, something called proteoglycans. So proteoglycans, what those are, um, uh, is gonna, gonna be molecules that have a small protein core so we'll just say this is the protein core, but then they're gonna have a bunch of carbohydrates that come off of that protein core. So proteoglycans, even though they do have this protein component, are actually mostly carbohydrates. So an easy way to kind of remember something like that is in things like proteoglycans or glycoproteins um, or glycolipids is that this last part of the word um, is what's gonna make up the majority of that molecule. So glycoproteins, the majority of it is a protein. Proteoglycan, the majority of it is sugar. And so that's an easy way to kind of remember that. So our extracellular matrix, um, the way that we're able to actually interact with the extracellular matrix is through um, different uh, cellular receptors on the surface of our cells. So um, another important component of the extracellular matrix is a molecule called fibronectin. And so that's a protein molecule um, and it's really important for cell migration um, and other things like that. And so we can attach two molecules of fibronectin in the extracellular matrix by using um, something called an integrin receptor. Integrin. And so these are gonna be transmembrane proteins on the surface of our cells that can interact with fibronectin and then send signals to the inside of our cells to let it know what's going on, as well as help the cell move along the um, extracellular matrix to get to the right spot within our tissues. So just to review, the ECM gives our cells something that it can attach to to get some extra support. It's made up of mostly glycoprotein, specifically collagen, but it also has a lot of proteoglycans, which are going to be molecules with a small protein core, and then a bunch of um, carbohydrate chains coming off of it so that it's mostly carbohydrate. And then we also have molecules like fibronectin that we can attach to through, in, um, through receptors like the integrin receptor to be able to get information about our surroundings and allow our cells to move through our tissues or to um, another tissue if it's in the wrong one currently. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.